Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing a reading for you on how the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February, <coughs> excuse me, 2019 will be affecting you. Now I ask that you give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure that you subscribe to my channel. This is the way that you let YouTube know that you're appreciating the content that I'm putting up and you guys are helping grow this small little channel into something big and into something beautiful. So thank you each and every one of you, whether you are new or old to this channel, you mean the world to me. If you would like to book a private reading or donate to my channel, all that information will be in the description box below. So let's see Scorpio, oh goodness, let's see Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Ascendant. What the energy, how the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 will be affecting you. How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 Scorpio. Show me clearly, show me clearly. How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon of February 2019 affect Scorpio? How will the energy of the snow moon, the full moon? Oh, goodness. Okay. Cool. Mm, like this. Okay. So the cards that fell are the ones that Spirit wanted you to see. You have the Two of Cups, healing beautiful love. The Magician, standing before the altar of your existence. Claiming your power, being seen, that's beautiful. The Six of Swords, walking away from, not walking away, but moving into the unknown, moving into what it is that you desire, really seeing where it is that you want to be. I love that you have the Five of Swords and then the Six of Swords. So you're, you've defended what it is that you want. You're being victorious. You're moving forward. And this is saying here, you don't have to defend yourself anymore. I mean, of course, you always have to kind of make sure that you're not being taken advantage of, make sure that you are embracing the soul and the self that you want, but you are not, you're not having to fight because here, and for some of you, you might still have to fight. This is not saying to, to you know, just turn over, roll over and play dead. This is saying here that energy is being wasted, trying to get people to understand who never are going to understand. So know that you have the high ground and I'm starting with your clarifying cards. Know that you have your high ground. Know that you stand tall and firm within the existence of what it is that you want, within your passion and within your understanding. And nobody is going to take that from you. You're victorious. Where those, where people had, want you, had wanted you to fail, where people had thought you would fail, you are, wind up, you are winding up winning. Taurus. Taurus? Scorpio. There we go. Sorry about that. You are winding up winning. And that's what I'm getting from this read right now. Just a strong, determined energy. And that's why I said Taurus. Okay, so for you, Scorpio, you are standing tall, you are standing firm, you are embracing what it is that you want, and nothing is going to slow you down or stop you. And that is absolutely beautiful. I'm excited for you here. I mean, seriously, I'm excited for the way that you are moving forward, for what it is that you are embracing. This is saying here that nobody is going to stop you. I know people say with the five of swords, I, I never have that, you know, oh, you should be a good sport. You should give them back their swords. No, in medieval times, if you lost, you lost, especially then. I mean, you could lose your house. You can lose your life. Okay. And if you lost, if you were a man fighting, which you would usually be, your, your wife would then get sold into slavery. That would just be the way that it went. You know, everything could be taken away from you and you could lose absolutely everything. So what you have here is you have a woman defending herself. You have a person who was thought of to be nothing, becoming so much more and embracing that prosperity. And I'm not saying that you were thought of to be nothing, Scorpio, but what I am saying is that people didn't expect you to be as strong and as resilient and as determined and as smart as you are. You are embracing healing, beautiful love and standing before the altar of your existence and saying, I am going into the unknown. And nothing is going to stop me. There's a sense of courage that is coming to you during this full moon. It's bringing healing, beautiful love to you. The angels are blessing you. You know the fragility of love. Some of you will be falling in love. Okay? The energy of this snow moon will be embracing the love that you have within your heart. And you will be finding it within another person. Because you will be projecting that love out into the universe. Out into the world. You're moving forward knowing what it is that you want. Now, for those of you who either have a partner or are perfectly happy being single, you are falling into love with yourself. You're having this healing love move you forward. You're standing before the altar of your existence saying, this is my majesty. This is my purpose. This is who I am. 
You're mourning what you have lost, the battles you have fought, the way you have had to prove yourself. But now you're embracing what you have learned. You are passionate. You know your mind. You are embracing your abundance. And you are taking in what it is that you love. The Six of Swords is saying that you're moving into the unknown because the future, no matter how much guidance we have as individuals through cards, through, you know, our connection with spirit, through whatever, it's always going to be unknown because there are always human variables thrown in. And you're taking your knowledge, you're taking your understanding, and the angels are embracing you as you move into your unknown. People will be taking more notice of you, Scorpio, and you will be getting what it is that you love. Your subconscious message is the two of pentacles. You have endless prosperity here. Do not let these people in your clarifying cards, these people that you have battled and fought, do not let them knock you off balance. Embrace your courage, embrace your understanding, calm your emotions, and know that you are achieving your goals, even if at times it feels that you are embracing chaos. All right, Scorpio, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. Thank you for giving the reading a thumbs up. Also, thank you for subscribing to my channel. You guys are amazing. Bye.